Pandemic events present multiple challenges to the healthcare environment. And in cases of infectious disease outbreaks like COVID-19, most hospitals won't have enough respiratory therapists to manage all of the vented patients. This will impact emergency departments, as it may be necessary for emergency nurses to manage not only the patients, but the ventilators. Take a deep breath. Just the thought of this can be overwhelming. Depending on how many COVID-19 patients your facility receives, there may not be enough in-house ventilators to go around, so the hospital will need to rely on the National Stockpile Repository, meaning you might have to operate a ventilator you've never seen before. Let's take a step back for a second and explain how this all works. The federal government is responsible for protecting the health and safety of the public against emerging infectious diseases. Maintained by Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the Strategic National Stockpile, also known as the SNS, is a storage of medications and medical supplies, including mechanical ventilators, intended to supplement state and local public health departments during a large-scale public health emergency, like the one we're experiencing. The SNS holds an inventory of ventilators of various types that can be deployed during a public health emergency if public health and healthcare facilities need additional ventilators to care for patients. So, when hospitals are running low on supplies and equipment, they can request them from the stockpile. Healthcare facilities can request supplemental ventilators from the SNS during a public health emergency through their state public health departments. State health officials are the ones who can request federal assistance for supplies, including ventilators. If your facility needs assistance with this process, please contact the Division of Strategic National Stockpile Operations Center at sns.ops at cdc.gov. Okay, so we know what the SNS is and that they may be able to help provide ventilators. So, what if your hospital is one of those that receive ventilators from the SNS? How will you know what models they are? How will you know how to use them? ED nurses are requesting education on managing ventilators and ENA is responding to that request. Currently, there are three ventilator models in the SNS. Covidian, Puritan Bennett, LP10, Vier, CareFusion, LTV1200, and the Zoll, Impact Implementation. Each ventilator is packaged in durable cases with all ancillary supplies needed to ventilate one adult or one pediatric patient. Additional adult and pediatric ancillary supplies such as patient circuits, bacterial filters, and heat and moisture exchangers, HME, are also available from the SNS upon request. Once you know which model you may have to operate, where will you find the basic education you need to use them? Well, fortunately, the SNS teamed up with the American Association for Respiratory Care, or AARC, and others to create just-in-time training videos. This online training is available through the AARC website. The training includes webcasts provided by AARC, manufacturer-operator videos, and electronic ventilator manuals and Project Extreme cross-training videos for mass casualty respiratory needs. Training information can be adapted by healthcare institutions to meet the emergency preparedness training needs of their healthcare workers. Training information also can be used to develop train the trainer presentations, continuing education offerings, and question and answer sessions. All of this education is available for free on the American Association for Respiratory Care website, www.aarc.org. Take a minute to check out AARC's website, review the training videos, and share this information with others. You never know when you might have to manage an SNS ventilator. Going through these videos in advance will give you the confidence you need to feel comfortable managing a vented patient with the SNS available ventilators, should that need occur. Good luck and stay safe.